Compact and subcompact SUVs are becoming increasingly more popular on the U.S. car market. And with gas prices soaring over $5 a gallon, it's important to consider how efficient your subcompact SUV is going to be. So today we're going to find out just how efficient the 2022 Audi Q3 is in the real world. <music> This is Christopher Brower here with Daily Motor, and today we're running the real-world highway fuel economy test on the 2022 Audi Q3 45S line. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look around it. Essentially just a lifted Audi A3, I think the Q3 is actually quite an attractive looking subcompact SUV, especially with these 20 inch wheels and Bridgestone summer tires. Paired with the S line package really brings this thing a sporty look. However, we should take this into account while we're running the fuel economy test that it does have the optional 20 inch wheels. Uh, I don't know how these are going to fare in, uh, in the real world on the highway, but just keep that in mind that we have an optional larger wheel option on this car. Otherwise, this is the 45, makes slightly more horsepower than the 40. Under the hood, we have a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that makes 228 horsepower. And the Q3 comes standard with quattro all wheel drive. So that is sent to all four wheels via an eight speed automatic transmission. And with all that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? wondering why we have switched locations temporarily it's because our normal entrance ramp is closed for construction and it doesn't open for about another month so the next few fuel economy tests uh, you see will start from this very remote sort of dirt parking lot with trees around but trust me it's still going to work out just fine for us so why do we do this test well the epa's fuel economy test which gives this audi q3 28 mpg on the highway only averages 48 miles per hour and we know that some people like to take their cars on actual road trips so what we do in this test is we go out 50 miles and back 50 miles averaging 70 miles per hour for a more real world figure a couple things worth noting for today's test outside temperature is 77 degrees fahrenheit we're going to be running the climate control in here at 73 degrees auto in fact i've already got it set as such Tire pressures have been set to their factory door placard indicated 38 PSI cold, and we'll be using the same gas pump both times using the same three click filling method to get the most accurate results possible. Let's hop out and grab our first fill. And 12.35 gallons in there for our first fill. This Audi Q3 only takes 87, which is neat. Don't have to worry about spending all that money on premium fuel, as you can see there, 87, and EPA also tested it on 87. All right. A couple of different drive modes here on this Audi Q3. We've got off-road comfort, auto dynamic, and individual. And of course, today we're going to be running in comfort mode, the smoothest mode of them all, to be as economical as possible. So the purpose of this test is not to hypermile. I'm not gonna be doing any drafting or any purposely economical driving. I'm simply going to merge onto the highway here, set the cruise control to a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour, and just drive like any normal person would to see what this car will get in a real world highway driving scenario. For cruise controls on this Audi Q3, we have a little stock down here to the left hand side of the steering wheel. We do also have adaptive cruise control put this down here to set our speed and then you pull it towards you to set it there and you can also control your distance with this little toggle here we'll go ahead and do the closest distance first highway impressions of this Audi Q3 it's a pretty nice place to be you know it's obviously not the most luxurious subcompact SUV that exists but I would say it's right about in the middle the seats are pretty comfortable we've got these special S line seats in this car so they're a little bit sportier but you know they're pretty soft and they hold you in bolster you nice 
As far as road noise goes, it's not bad at all. These uh, Bridgestone summer tires do a pretty good job soaking up the noise. Wind intrusion is also at a minimum. I always find that Audis are pretty well insulated um, on the interior. Uh, Volkswagens, Audis, and Porsches usually do a pretty good job at that. So we do have radar crews. I don't see any sort of uh, steering assist or anything like that. I'll mess around in the infotainment uh, while we're on this drive and see if I can find any and I will uh, <laughs> update you guys at the end. But overall, first highway impressions, it seems to be a pretty comfortable car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get driving here, settle into my Audi Q3. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys in about 95 miles once I am towards the end here. Finishing up our drive here in the Audi Q3, indicated here on the cluster, 33.4 mpg, so exceeding EPA by about 5 mpg according to the car, but we'll have to see what that actually translates to once we get to the pump. Otherwise, it's been an all right experience here on the highway in this Audi Q3. No lane keep assist that I've been able to find. Uh, radar cruise control does a pretty good job. I think because I'm in comfort mode, it acts a little bit lazier with the gearing. Um, it's very, very hesitant to downshift when you're going around. Um, even if you're you know, at 60 miles per hour, it'll stay in eighth gear all the way up until you get back to 72. So. I don't know, not uh, not the most impressive thing in the world, but it gets the job done. Otherwise, as far as overall comfort goes, the Q3 has been just all right. The overall seat comfort is really not the best. My back is actually pretty sticky. Uh, I'm a little bit sweaty in here. Uh, I do have the, the climate control on 73 Auto. We do have some AC coming through, but there's no like perforation or anything in these seats or there's no venting element. So my back is a little bit sticky. Um, otherwise, ride comfort, it's all right. It would be quite a bit better without these 20 inch wheels, but that's just the price you have to pay for the stylish nature of these wheels. Uh, but otherwise, it's been an all right experience, I would say. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but certainly not bad. I would like to see some sort of a lane keep assist. You do have lane departure warning that'll just yell at you if you drive out of a lane, but that is just about it. Infotainment, pretty good. Nice uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna finish out my last couple miles here and I will catch up with you once I have brimmed the tank in this Audi Q3. 2.901 gallons in there for our final fill. Let's go ahead, hop inside and do some math. Today's journey was 99.71 miles. And we'll go ahead and divide that by the 2.901 gallons of petrol that we used. And that gives us a total of 34.37 miles per gallon. That's pretty close to what the car was reading out. Car was reading out mid 33s. So I'm gonna say it's safe to say we got just around 34 MPG, which is excellent because EPA's estimate was 28. So at 70 miles per hour, as you can see, the Audi Q3 performed very well and got 34 MPG. So now let's go ahead and multiply this number by our fuel tank size to get our effective highway cruising range. Fuel tank in this Q3 is 15.9 gallons, and that gives us an effective highway cruising range of 540 miles. A pretty excellent amount there. I usually say anything over 500 miles is impressive, so 540 is really, really nice to see. So there you go, guys, 34 MPG. And keep in mind, this is on regular fuel. 
you can still have this luxury badge here. You can have an Audi and you can still run it on a budget. 87 octane, 34 MPG, 540 miles on the highway. So pretty cool. Overall, a decent car. If you want to know more about this, we will have our other videos linked down below, including a sound system test on this Sonos speaker system, the infotainment review, as well as a full real world impressions video. So stay tuned for all of those. But as for now, that'll be the end of our highway fuel economy test. So thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been Christopher Brower here with Daily Motor. And as always, drive on.